I was at Walmart the other day and I was eyeballing this pallet of discounted potting soil. And by discounted, I mean $3 a bag. So I was wondering, is the cheap potting soil just as good as the regular potting soil? Am I wasting my money? When you're growing your plants, plants need three basic things. They need nitrogen, they need phosphorus, and they need potassium. I bought a premium potting soil that you can find at your local feed and seed store, which is Batco premium potting soil. I picked up the $3 bag of discounted potting soil, probably left over from last season from Walmart. And then I went to the local Ollie's outlet, which is a big super discount store that carries the cheapest of the cheap. And if you look right here, you can see the price sticker isn't actually on the bag. It's printed on the bag. So this is definitely made for Ollie's potting soil. Welcome to my laboratory where safety is number one priority. First thing that we're going to do is prep our soil for the tests. Each container is going to get five parts of water to one part soil. And we're going to mix them up real good as well. Then we're going to let this sit overnight so that all the solids will fall to the bottom and we're left with murky water. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did this come from? Where did this come from? Well, you know, late night of partying and uh, YouTube making, you got to stay hydrated. So let's take a look at these. This one doesn't have a lot of stuff floating in the top of it, which is good, which means it absorb most of it. That's the back coat. The uh, expert, a lot of junk floating in the top, a lot of junk, it's a lot of waste. Um, I do not think this has much nutrients in it or it would have been absorbed in the water. A lot of that seems to be filler. That's the expert from Walmart. And then Flourish from Ollie's, again like the first one, but not as much uh, perlite in there. So uh, we want to add perlite if you do buy this one. Now that our soil solutions are ready, let's start the tests. First thing we're going to test is the pH of the soil. To test the pH, we grab one of the little tubes that comes with our tester and fill it up the first line with the soil. We're going to start with the Batco soil. Then we take this little green capsule and get the chemical out of the middle of it, which is used for testing pH. Then we add distilled water. Distilled water is very important because we know that distilled water does not contain any other chemicals which may contaminate the test. Shake it up real good and then let it sit for two minutes. Ooh, look at that, it's all settled out. Now let's take a look and see what our tester says. So the Batco soil from the feed and seed store is at six. The next one we're gonna test is the expert potting soil from Walmart. Add all our chemicals in there and shake it up. Then let it sit for two minutes. After it's set, we drop it in the tester and let's see what we get for the pH. 7.5. That's kind of the top end, but we'll take that reading. The next one we're going to test is the Flourish, which came from Ollie's Outlet. And shake it up again. Let's see where our Flourish is at. And the pH from the Flourish potting soil from Ollie's is at 7.5. So the pH test really isn't that big of a deal. I didn't expect a whole lot of difference between one soil or the other when it comes to the pH testing. But let's take a look now with the nitrogen, the phosphorus, and the potassium tests because I do expect a big difference with these. I imagine that a premium potting soil should have all the nutrients you need. And you're kind of rolling the dice when you're looking at some of the other potting soils that cost a little bit less. For the nitrogen test, we take the little purple capsules and empty them into the tube. 
and then we fill to the top line with our solution that we made the night before. Shake it up and let it sit for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, let's see what we get. First up was the Batco potting soil, which has a surplus of nitrogen. Great. It's kind of what we expected. Then next, let's get the expert potting soil from Walmart. Test this one. Get it to the top line. And then after 10 minutes, let's drop it in the tester. And also at a surplus, okay? Let's see where our flourish from Ollie's goes. And after 10 minutes, we test it. And the nitrogen level of the flourish is also at a surplus. How about that? Hey, real quick, do me a favor. If you're enjoying this video, hit that like button so YouTube can share it with more people who are just like you. We use the little blue capsules to test for phosphorus. And just like the nitrogen, we let it sit for 10 minutes and let's see what our soil tester said. Okay, good. The Batco from the Feed and Feed Seed Store is at a surplus. Now let's try the expert from Walmart. And the phosphorus for this one, well, it's at sufficient. Okay, I can see it might be a little bit less. And now let's try the Flourish from Ollie's. And also at a surplus. Very surprising. Now let's do our phosphorus test. We'll start with the Batco potting soil from the Feed and Seed store. And just like the nitrogen test, we let it set for 10 minutes and then stick it in our tester. And kind of like we expected, there is a surplus in the premium potting soil. Next, we're going to do the expert from Walmart. And drop it in our tester and let's see what we get. Also at a surplus. Okay. Now let's test the flourish from Ollie's. And the potassium level. Of the flourish from Ollie's is a surplus. So the cheap potting soils are just as good as the expensive potting soils, right? Just hold up right there. If I remember a little bit of my science labs, you always have to have a control to go against whatever it is you're testing. And right now we don't have a control, something that we know what the results would be. So for the control test, I just grabbed a bunch of dirt from the backyard. It was in an area where there was no grass growing. I don't expect much from this soil. We're going to let it sit overnight and then test it. The first one is the pH. This could really be anywhere. And the pH of the backyard plain ordinary dirt is a 7.5. We we'll do the nitrogen test. Let's just go ahead and get them all ready right now. So this nitrogen test, I don't expect much from this. But it looks like there's a surplus. Let's try the phosphorus. All right, it's adequate. That's more in line with what I expected. Just plain ordinary dirt from the backyard. And the potassium is surplus. Well, maybe my backyard isn't as bad as I think it is. It's quite possible that the dirt back there is pretty good. 
I just have dogs running back and forth over it all day. So no grass is going to grow. But there is one thing that I know has no nitrogen, no phosphorus, and no potassium. And that is distilled water. Now we're going to find out how screwed up this tester really is. We're just doing plain water. Let's just do all four tests at the same time. Fill it with just plain distilled water. We should have nothing. The pH should be pretty neutral. And the pH is fairly neutral at six and a half. The nitrogen should have nothing. And it has a surplus. Great, great. And the phosphorus. Okay, okay. Well, I don't expect much here. That's right, a surplus. Great. Oh. There's not really a whole lot to say here. If something doesn't work, it just doesn't work. What do I think of the rapid test digital soil tester? It sucks, all right? It sucks. Remember, Big Stacks grows, Big Stacks builds, and Big Stacks makes. If you want to check out my garden videos, click on this playlist right here. And I'll see you next time at Big Stacks Small Workshop.